So from the 9th of Zul Hijjah, which is next Wednesday, until the 13th of Zul Hijjah, which is next Sunday, these five days, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, there are certain rulings relating to Takbir e Tashriq. What is Takbir e Tashriq? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. This is Takbir e Tashriq. It is wajib for every man who is praying in the first jama'ah behind the Imam in the masjid. After the fard salah, he must at least once recite Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. In a loud voice, at least once is wajib for men and three times is recommended. After the fard salah, from the fajr on next Wednesday, the 9th of Zul Hijjah, until the Asr on the 13th of Zul Hijjah, which is next Sunday, 23 namaz altogether. Yeah? So 9, 10, 11, 12, those four days after all the five daily Fard Salah, the Fard Namaz prayed in the primary Jama'ah in the Masjid, and then Fajr, Zuhr, Asr on the Sunday. These 23 Salah. And then furthermore, this is a wajib upon all residents and those praying behind a resident Imam. In the primary jama'ah those people who are praying on their own they do not have to recite the takbir but it is better for them to do so it is better for women to also recite the takbir and if they do women recite it quietly softly and after the eid salah the salah of eid al-adha it is also recommended for the takbir to also be recited after the salah of eid so these rulings people need to bear in mind and this takbir is recited straight away after the fard, after the salam is given. So this is a wajib. Everyone should be aware of this upon resident males, residents who are praying behind the primary jama'ah. Once is wajib, three times is mustahab, recommended. Once is compulsory at least to recite it. And we mentioned after Eid Salah, it is also good to recite it. And those who are praying alone do not have to, but it is recommended for